Hello everyone and welcome to Go for Evolve number 41. We have ourselves with us today. We have Grizzle Marine helping us cast an epic match already starting. Great matches are already going around between JSMS and Inspector Cabot. This is of course match one for the monster of JSMS, aka Deanimate, versus the Inspector Cabot Hunter team. So everything's going yeah, on right now. Let's see how it goes around. So, so it has gone in so JSMS's favor so far, but it'd be interesting to see how they're I suppose how their monster goes. Is that, is that monster? Yeah, their monster now. So we saw Kraken on the other side of game one. We saw Wraith getting played, and now we're on Meteor Goliath. We're just seeing everything today. Next is Bob. Definitely. Nice to see that. Nice to see that. Yeah, definitely. Bob wins. <laughs> Bob wins. Bob wins. Bob wins. We need, we, need, we need some Bob in there. That'd be fantastic. That would just make my first casting experience even more fantastic. I want to see some Bob. That'd be great. But let's make sure you guys can see what's going on in game right now because I did leave it on the other screen. So let's go in right now. We have Meteor Goliath, as we stated. He did actually go up through this route, down this way, and just hooked in through here. And now he's on the river going this way. Yeah, that was quite quite an inter interesting move. Uh, I don't know if hunt Hunters aren't, haven't picked up on it, it seems. They are still quite far in the distance. So, uh, But I don't know if he's going to find enough meat around here. That's the one thing. He needs to make sure he gets staged and ready for stage two as quickly as possible. Hopefully he will do. So yeah, and he did go with like the pure mobility build along with combined with his additional movement speed as a perk choice. It's very uh, common to see it from Meteor Goliath. We want to maximize on that mobility bonus that they get from Meteor Goliath because he just kind of jumps around the map like a meteor. He came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah. Never do that again. Oh, I'm sorry. Ever. Uh, Ever. Fired. Ever. Fired. <laughs> but yeah, so we actually... Oh. Wait. These are some weird perks. Okay, Hank makes sense. Val, I can see it. Parnell on capacity? We have triple what? capacity. Pa 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 Parnell? What? All of them? What? Wait, who's, who's, wait, who's on okay, capacity? We have Parnell, Parnell on capacity. We have Val on capacity. And we have Hank on capacity. Hank, it makes sense. Right. Val, Hank, I can Hank, understand. Hank, Hank, Hank and Val, yeah. Parnell. What? Wait, Team so capacity. That, that, I, I, I learned that capacity actually doesn't it doesn't work with your sort of like your normal ability. So as a shield, does it actually increase your capacity for that? Because I heard no. that, that that actually doesn't. Yeah, that's a good point. So, so it's only, it just basically means that he spends less time reloading when he's super soldiers, I guess? Yeah, I guess that's true, which uh, hopefully helps him out. And he, he must have a little, he has a bit more capacity on Super Soldier, I would assume then. Or maybe not, I don't know. God, just shows how much I know. <laughs> Chat's just going nuts today. They're just like, salt, 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 salt. And like, I fixed it already. Before you guys give me flack, I already fixed it. Uh. <laughs> What we're going in right now, we have charge shots being done trying to get him. I'm not quite able to connect from generic, so just able to dodge it by using that pillar. Gobi's going to be out trying to make sure he gets that. Shots are going to be in the rear from Monkey Bot. And JSMS, aka Jamais Sans Bon Saucy Sans, is Danimate, is going to be able to go onto the water. His name in game right now is Sure You Can Whisper Whiskers, so he does always have something cat related. Meow. Very meow. Very well. So they're going over, they're doing what they can at building everything. Gobi is being thrown out, trying to make sure they have that vision line. However, Deanimate is now staging up the stage two, has an open skyline. If Monkey Bot can get into position, no, nope, turn the wrong way here. He could have possibly got us evolve orbital as we're going in, but we do see the monster has actually escaped by using the acid waterfront, leaping as soon as he was done. Generic was unable to connect with the oh, uh, dome. No. So I didn't really even realize that. Wow. So Deanimate is free. The other dome. He is free. Very good positioning. Now we can get that armor on. He's got a safe zone to probably, you know, get ready, get some armor on, maybe get some sort of halfway towards getting ready for stage three, and then he can go in for a nice little safe fight. So Inspector Cabot's monster. No. Yes. I'm getting confused. It just shows. Well, it's just going all over the place. Like, they have their teams. They went on the acid waterfront. They're going all over the place. Deanimates right now using what we refer to as the zero... I know he isn't actually going to use it. But this little circle here is what we call the zero raceway. And the reason why we call it the zero raceway is because Cyril kind of patented it. He did it all the time on this map, and it's included... And it basically locked him in so many wins. And the reason why it's called a raceway is because you can't keep up with the monster, and the monster forces you into a position that you can't use. So if you're ever wondering what to do at home, go into this area and just run around in a circle until you get exactly which hunter you want. You'll be able to force the team to split up in the exact manner you choose. Pro tips from Alex Seeds. Woo woo! <laughs> yeah, we got the nice little Doom Beetle over here, aka the Dick Beetle. Good choice on name, though. Because they're just rude. <laughs> Call the them Dick, dick beetles, beetles, man. I, I never, never heard that before. 
Oh man, well, maybe it's just a PC term and what we called it, but man, those guys are all just right. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting into route. I'm getting into Evolve on PC. Like I'm I'm slowly I'm slowly sort of stopping Xbox trying to get some. Uh, God, it's just a bit annoying. So I'm gonna get all those elites again, you know. Yeah, that's, that's the most frustrating thing. Is it linked to your My like, 2K? Uh, I thought it was linked if to your My 2K. If, if, if that's a thing, I'd be very very happy, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, because your DLC transfers between consoles. What? Yeah. You're lying to me, Alex. I'm pretty sure it does because it's linked to your My2K account. I'm gonna have to check that out. I'm gonna have to check that out after we do uh, today's cast. Because <laughs> I remember funny, reading that's... something about it, and that was one of the things. Is they're like, yeah, no, you don't have to buy it on both consoles. What? But alas, no, we're going in generics I'm... already down though. So that was a quick down. Um, as we're distracted by talking about DLC and everything, and skins. But we're looking at we already have a down generic. I'm gonna get quicked up by not only Monkeybot and Thonar doing everything to keep that body life. Stealth pounce is now used. And he's just trying to focus down generic. Generic, he wants out of this game. He's just obliterating that body. Orbital coming oh, in! Orbital does come down. Okay, he doesn't get it. We didn't got much on down, but the armor is being melted through quite fast. He does get generic down. And that is going to give him, you know, some nice room. He's probably going to jump away here. Probably make sure he can get a little bit more armor on. And then he's going to take advantage of that as much as possible. I mean, of course, Trapper isn't going to contribute a huge amount to making sure the hunters, all hunters, stay alive. But it certainly is going to contribute in terms of him being able to duck in and out. Do a little bit of damage, maybe pick off the hunters, sort of do a hit and run type of scheme, which is probably what uh, sort of he's going to look to do now. So definitely, as expected, he's going to go away, get some more armor. But then again, he is very close to stage three, so I'm just wondering whether he's going to go straight for that stage, or he's going to go in and see what he can get at stage two. At this point, you're probably best just staging up, getting your full stage. You have the advantage and you have the space. He also has a minute 15, so. Assuming that he evolves as soon as he's ready, which is right now, he'll be done evolving at one minute and one second, right? Goes mm -hmm. up and gets his armor, fills that up, and still leaves him with like 30, 40 seconds of fight time, depending on food. Right? Mm -hmm. He'll be able to go in, full armor, engage, and he still has a good amount of time to brawl in with that extra ability points. He has three rock, hey, three my, leave, two flame. One thing I, I kind of feel uncomfortable is that's one thing what I like engaging at stage two sometimes because the problem I found with stage three in the you know, current stage of Evolve is one thing that it does is it brings the monster to you. You can go to the relay, and especially if it's a good relay that you can set up on, which on Orbital Drill it actually does have, you do have some good little areas you can set up here. Um, it can be quite hard sometimes, especially as a monster. I mean, Goliath is quite a slow-moving monster. And, you know, there's a lot of things you can dip and dive and duck around as hunters, which is main way of mitigating. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see. But then again, he has come in with pretty much full health, full armor. So the hunters are going to have to see what they can do here. Going in right now, we have Thonar on the high ground getting knocked down immediately as we're looking at uh, Frankenstein's point of view. A leap Smash is being used, trying to get some connection, and we're just seeing exactly him chasing around Thonar, leaping around like a maniac. Charge is now used. Everything's being done on Thonar by Monkey Bots on point with those shields, using them immediately when they're needed to keep Thonar alive. Here comes the leap, though. Does it connect on Thonar? Yes, it does. Here comes the rock for the pickup, tosses it right down, gets shielded by Monkey Bot. Going up, here comes the orbital, though. It's going to connect and force him to leave Thonar alone. He's just trying to melt him down from distance. Melted Thonar is just getting. Oh, there's the leap for the finish. Oh. So, Val does go down, which, as you say, Me Medic dies, everybody dies. So they are going to shield, and they're going to try and keep Medic up as much as possible, but I don't think that he's going to let her get away with that. So, yeah, Val goes down, going to be going on the dropship. Dropship timer is going to be starting, and uh, again, Monster is in a very comfortable situation here. Lost a bar in a bit, took out the Medic. Medic is no longer in the battle, Generic just dropping in, and he has time to go feed up. So he's going to be full armor on the next engagement, and they're not going to have a Medic. That's going to be some they, pain. The Specs Cabot's monster here are going to be very, very comfortable. Yeah, he's going to definitely get that armor up very quickly. Going to go straight back in for that fight. Try and see what he can get. Probably going to target that support straight away. Going to get hanged down. Uh, or that's what I would do anyway. Make sure that, you know, you can get perhaps the most sort of ones that are going to threaten him down as quickly as possible. And, but this is going to not look good for JSMS. No, sorry, not JSMS. Inspector Cabot. Inspector Cabot. Yeah. I knew what you meant. Don't worry, we got yeah, you. Yeah, we got you. Got me. Yeah, Inspector Cabot coming out of their win yesterday. They came third place in TGL, uh, winning over Team YP, who actually just got completely murdered yesterday by a bunch of teams as they were fighting their way through, unable to hold their own as these new teams are coming up and showing their strength. Coming in, we have a good brawl coming in. We have Frankenstein getting melted by range as Parnell, which that's who's going to be playing Parnell this game. It's going to be Frankenstein. The monster from the previous set. Uh, okay, okay. I didn't realize you could actually. Oh, so you can switch in now, monsters and hunters. Yeah. 
It depends, like, on exactly. situations, but in this case, they're yeah. going with that, so... Okay, Spence, because you, yeah, you can have better players playing different monsters, but it does look like... Well, this is going to be taking Barnell. He's going to be punishing Barnell proper now, and he does go down. Going in, we have Monkeybot going up on the high on, gets grappled, gets shot immediately, knocked around. Trying to see what he had. Monkeybot actually has to burn his cloak immediately, trying to make sure that he stays alive. Flames are being tossed everywhere, trying to spot out Monkeybot, who's on the low ground, shooting at him from up down there. And he does know he's there now, which means that he has a choice. He can either chase Monkeybot while Generic gets the resurrection, or he can go and protect Frankenstein, which, of course, fortunately for him, Frankenstein's back up. Parnell is back in the game, which means he has to leap at him, has to get rid of him. But who does he go after? Go after Generic, or does he go after Parnell? Which right now he is deciding between the two. We know Generic's trying to get that res, and he sees it, just turns around. Generic's is going to keep popping. Dropship's going to be coming in in a couple more seconds. seconds. Eight seconds. You need to go down, drop it on the dropship, finish off Generic. Generic, you need to die within three. Two, one, dropships come, which is exactly what he was waiting for, and he's going to start turning. He's going to go right after Generic. Generic, mm -hmm. you got to run now. Run, Generic. He run. Ain't, he ain't going to do anything. He's going to have to, no, in bad position, already down. Big unfortunate, but, uh, you know, that's just monster plays. And the Hunter teams are going to be coming back in, but unfortunately without a trapper, which is going to be very hard. And uh, I just wonder whether now he's going to go away, get some armor, or he's going to go straight in as they drop in. Uh, he's probably going to play it safe, which he is. He's going to try and make sure that he gets some armor up. But no, he's going in for now. Yeah, he's going in. He just wants to get this finished up before they does come in have and have time to heal him up. Personal. personal shields pop. He's going to use that to his advantage. Rockets thrown at him, healing up. Here comes the shields and the heals from the team. Monkey bot's right on point with it, right again. Going right in, trying to get it picked up. Frankenstein's is getting juggled at this point. Knocked around left, right, and center. They're going to be healing and shielding and doing everything. And here comes the orbital to try and get him off that body. Shield picked up. Doesn't connect, which means he's going to keep getting ragdolled. He's bouncing around. He's a little bit of a pinball as he gets knocked down to the ground finally. And down goes Deanimate, who's just getting all his health chipped through. Monkeybot does not have an orbital drill any orbital barrage anymore as he does have to burn his cloak. Rock is now picked up and thrown. Trying to get a burn to spot out. Monkeybot unable to do so, already goes straight for Thonar. Thonar's the only one visible. Shields are coming out. He's going to be throwing it and shooting him. Here, just to get him off Thonar. Here comes the leap for the finish. Shield be using... Oh my goodness, Monkeybot. You are doing exactly everything your team needs you to do right now. He's going to go back. He's going to pick up Parnell while Thonar's on the ground, which means Deanimate has to leave. He's actually going... He's actually very low. This could be turned around. I mean, all the hunters have got... Orbitals have cooldown. We have he got Crow go on this team. Hey, hey, we have got Crow on this team as well. You know, they, you know, he's got a little bit of time still before the dropship comes back in. So, I don't know. They are going to go straight into that fight. They're going to try and get as much down and try and stop him from getting armor. But I don't think that's going to be very good. They are going to get the armor back up. But, uh, so they are probably going to go back up, set up, and do their best. But, you know, is it, you know Crow needs to be getting back in but, and try and get some chips. But I think before... He, he has to kill in. all three in 50 seconds. This is going to yeah. be that timer, and it's a th it's and it's a hang hard. foul. It's going to be difficult. Rockets picked up. If it connects on Parnell, nope, going to be using to go after Monkey Bot. Has no choice. Going to be revealed. The Oral Barrage is already thrown. Connects on a couple blasts, removing some of that armor, just chipping it away. Goes to chase. Goes after Parnell. Frankenstein's going to be eating that in the face. However, Hanks down. Hanks now on the ground. Thorner's going to be trying to do those range pickups, which means he's going to get a quick strike. And he has the option of spawning in the drop. So there you go. There's the quick pickup. Uses the shield from Monkey Bot to keep up Frankenstein, who's just going to get melted. Personal shield's now used. Looking at Thonar. Here comes the charge for going after it, but Personal Shield's on. They're through the armor. Yet again, just a couple more shots, and they're on a little bit more health damage. They're slowly building up their momentum in this match as Deanimate's starting to lose foot ground. But he's going to have to back out, and he is going to have to get some more armor in that situation. Otherwise, he is going to be punished for it, and Dropship is coming back in. So, I don't know. This could, uh, you know, I would like to say that, you know, the monster's probably going to take this one, but you know, getting full armor, but... It's hard to say because when you've got Crow on your team, you know, you can keep chipping away slowly and slowly. And But the other thing is everyone's got two strikes. If Monkeybot's on point with the shields, though. he has been, but if he continues being on point with the shields, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very difficult, but possible. Nothing's impossible. And back in now. He's got that armor. He is ready. And he's going to be ready. And the Hunters are knowing what's going to come and hit them. They're going to have to make sure that their plays are on point at the moment. It's going to be tough when he goes in there. He's got to go in, and Frankenstein's going to be taking point, making sure he doesn't go to the relay, but he's going to be locked in, flamed immediately. Shields are coming in for Monkey Bot. Going to be able to keep him up. Judy, who does he shield? Does he choose Generic? Yes, he does, and he shields right. 50-50 shot. Took, took the right one. Generic's going to be kept alive. Parnell's going to be doing some super soldier face stuff right in the back. 
Gonna try and get some. Oh, here comes the Orbital dropping it. One, oh, two, three, four blasts. Beautiful. Here comes the leap. Finishes up generic. You get shielded just, just in the nick of time by Monkey Bot. Looking to try and keep him alive, but shields are now burned through. There's nothing left to keep generic alive. Here comes the rock for the finish. Goes in connection generic. Generic's in dropship. That's one in dropship. They're through armor yet again and a little bit more chip. Generic, I'm sorry, you get to go relax for a little bit. He knows he knows he knows he needed to get generic down because especially being at you know that low health, although he's still got a little bit to shift through. It's just something you've got to definitely avoid because that would definitely be the biggest threat. But now he's going. Oh! <laughs> that was one oh! nice little rock throw he threw back there. That artillery shot! That, oh that, my that god! It'd have been beautiful if he'd actually <laughs> finished it off completely. That would have been fantastic. But he's out. He's out. He's gonna get that armor, and the hunters are gonna be left with many strikes. I saw that strikes. coming, and I'm like, it looks like it's it, actually gonna hit. It's, it's Let's gonna follow hit. this. Oh no. Boom! We need, we need to name the fluke rock throws. Uh, so. That's just more so a nuisance. It's gonna be heal burst, it's gonna be off cooldown. Ultimately, it didn't change anything, but. Yeah. Oh, too funny. So pretty cool. So pretty cool. Here comes the burst, though, going right in. Flame's already being used. Go straight for Monkey. Wants to get Monkey to burn his cloak, which he does immediately. Rocket's picked up. Order Rush is being done. Throws it right on Monkey. Rocket's thrown. Oh, just barely clipping and barely missing out Monkey. Flames are going to be used, and that's going to take him, him out. Off. He's going back in. Oh, but, you know, it's a shame that he's used the orb tool already, though, and he didn't down. Monkey Boy is down. He's going to go straight for that medic. Medic is trying to move out of the way. He's trying to dick and dive, but I don't think it's going to be much longer. Thoron is dead and heading in for the finish. It does pop a personal shield, but I don't know if that's going to be any good. Rock throw coming in, does miss, but Sneak Pound's still going in, but it's going to be hard with the assault. He's using everything he can on him. Parnell trying to do everything to stay alive. And it's not enough. GG. It is not enough. Janimate takes the win, which means that JSMS get another point on their little scoreboard, which means that the total tally brings it up to a 3-0 and a best of five. So that gives them the victory going forward. Fantastic. Quick, decisive victory coming forward with them, just being able to push their way through. Mm -hmm. As much as like the last match, it was it came down to the nitty gritty of it. Deanimate just kind of playing it flawlessly, knowing exactly that he needed to take his time, build his strikes, and just go one by one by one. So, really close game all around, and it, it was just one of those moments that it was really hard for him to be able to get that. Definitely. Um, you know, it, it's, especially when you get those penalties down, it literally just one clip of most of the abilities, it can absolutely devastate your team, and your medic just can't keep up with it. Uh, so there wasn't a lot they could do there, but to be fair, they did pull up a good fight, and, uh, you know, there's so, so many moments there where you're thinking, oh, is it going to happen, but, you know... It's just, it's just, it, but then again, you know, it's only one lucky orbital or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and it could change completely change the tables. So yeah, that does mean that JSMS moves on, and on the top half we have TPA versus Dome Destroyers, and it looks like that match. Let's see if we can pick up that score and see what was reported. Uh, we're just letting the teams know the results, and they're going to be updating. Yeah, so final score was actually a 4-0 in favor of TPA. So that may have just been what's reported. That may not have been the actual score, but that was the final conclusion there. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. The next game will be coming up momentarily, which is the finals of this week. So nice, quick little Go For Evolve Sunday Cup for you guys watching. So you guys get the nice little quick relaxing day after the nine and a half hours we had yesterday. So relax, grab yourself a drink, enjoy some coffee. In the meantime, for those of you in the VODs, there will be another video in the playlist. And it will also have a link down to Grizzle Marine's channel if you want to check that out. Or my channel, because I don't know which one we're putting this on yet. We definitely really definitely about check that. both of us out, guys. be really appreciative, especially Alex. He's awesome. Especially you know. Grizzle, because he's awesome. Oh god, oh god, you. Oh, oh you. Uh, but yeah, so check out both content. Getting in everything going. Uh, I'm sure, you know, we'll probably get Grizzle to throw out some more casting in the future, maybe. Yeah, I'd really love to come and do some more. I actually really enjoy myself. Um, hopefully, one day I'll have good enough internet to actually make it so that I can perhaps maybe. do some casting myself. I'd love to do that. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Well, we'll make sure you have everything you need. And in the meantime, guys, we'll do the quick fading for that for the sake of editing. And those of you watching live, stay tuned. We'll have more games coming at you in just a bit as we're going to have TPA versus JSMS in the finals of Go for Evolve number 41.